District. Today, Thursday, December 8th, is our annual Project 60 celebration, uh, something we all look very forward to here at the Lisbon Community School District. Students are ready to serve our incoming guests, so we want to welcome them, and we want to wish everybody a safe and happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Yes, and the turkey I assume. I'm not sure. What it takes to make Project 60 happen, um, it takes a lot of work. We do fundraising, we do we go out and ask for donations and the setup is the setup makes everything. Once we get it out there and get it going, um, people just file in, they love it. We love helping them and serving them today and Overall, it's just a good time. Uh, Food-wise, they love the food. They love getting the interaction. Most of them don't get out much and talk to people, so it's a good, it's a good thing to get them out, get them all, everybody together. Um, I love it. Everybody here loves it. It's a good time. The Michelle and Michelle Squared Show, take one. Project 60. Our entire staff prepared things yesterday, the day before, so that we were ready to get it in the oven and cook it today. Yes, we found out uh, that doing a lot of the prep work ahead of time takes a lot of the stress off on the day of, so we can kind of enjoy the whole idea of what we're doing and, you know, um, make, make it go a lot smoother when uh, we're more prepared. So <laughs> We also continue to, to um, serve our 600, 500 and some kids for the regular school day, lunch period. Yes. So some days it's a lot of uh, work if you're not prepared for it. So. And chair of communications. I communicate with administration and I make sure the community knows about all of our events. I love working with the community. Um, just working with the newspaper and local businesses and talking to them about what's going on. It's really interesting to see that. As student body president um, with planning Project 60, it has to do a lot of knowing and communication mainly as we start to get things going right away within five weeks before it actually started. Um, so like I'm mainly writing down a million things every meeting. I have to make sure everything is done properly and taken care of to make sure we have everything like bought and ready to go for the day of Project 60. Um, and so like I just have to make sure that like, everyone's dressed up and happy and we just try to make it a good experience for all of our senior citizens in the Lisbon Mount Vernon area. My favorite part is talking to all the guests. Yeah, I enjoy that a lot too because there's just so many different people and sometimes you'll see someone you haven't seen in a long time and it's really fun to be able to talk to them. Yeah, I really like talking to them too, and they have some really good stories um, just from all their experiences. It's fun to see them come in and meet up with old friends that they might not have seen for a while and talk to us. My favorite part is like performing for them like on the piano or this year the choir is going to sing. I'm looking forward to that. Our favorite part of Project 60 is seeing our guests year after year. So my favorite part of Project 60 is just seeing the kids get all dressed up and talk to people that they don't necessarily get the opportunity to talk to every day. You know, um, Sometimes it's kind of hard to go to a nursing home yourself. Sometimes I think as young people we tend to stray from the older generations, but they love to see you guys and that is absolutely my favorite part. 
The kids totally ran the show. I just kind of sat back and made sure that they didn't forget any details, but they did everything. They organized everything. They came up with the decorations. They told me what to buy, and I was just kind of the checkbook. So <laughs> that's, it makes it pretty easy for me.